So now we jump to, to, to speak about the, the, the aspect of thermal comfort in a, in a completely different city uh, as compared to the ones that uh, we already saw this morning. Uh, Florence uh, is uh, in the Mediterranean uh, area. It is one of the uh, hotspots uh, of climate change in the world. And uh, uh, the warming across the Mediterranean is uh, a very serious uh, aspect to be considered. And uh, I think that the same figure that we have uh, in uh, Japan uh, with the uh, heating of the cities is uh, uh, very retraceable in all the uh, Mediterranean cities at the moment. Uh, with uh, some extremes and uh, um, uh, effects that are uh, widely affecting the people of the area. Uh, but the, uh, just to briefly introduce uh, what about the uh, city of Florence and its climate. Uh, of course, it's uh, uh, 30 times uh, smaller than Tokyo, Florence. And so uh, there are completely different uh, aspects to be considered. But there is a sort of uh, never-ending marathon. It's the one of tourists, it's a historical and art city. And so uh, the, 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 the problem or the problematic aspect of in terms of warming uh, affect uh, the uh, million of visitors, the million of tourists that every year visit the city for um, just uh, enjoying their holidays. What's happening or what happened in the last uh, 120 years, more or less, in, uh, in the temperature of the city? If we uh, have a look to the uh, trend of uh, um, uh, days with uh, uh, more than 34 degrees, uh, uh, daytime or, or uh, uh, days with a, uh, a minimum temperature lower than zero degrees. Uh, we have a, a quite clear pattern. And particularly, I would like to point out the fact uh, that uh, since the, the, the 70s, 80s of the last uh, century, we got a, a tremendous increase in uh, hot days, uh, particularly in summer, of course but also affecting uh, June and September, and uh, eventually also October in some part of the year. So this kind of trend uh, is also uh, um, given by the tropical, the so-called tropical nights. Uh, if we compare some uh, weather stations that are uh, located in uh, the city center, the urban dense city center, uh, compared to the um, weather station that are located in the peripheral area, of the city in a more hilly part, more green, greener part of the city, we got uh, uh, some uh, slight differences. Uh, um, the increase of uh, maximum temperature is quite uh, evident in uh, the city center, while uh, it's not so evident in the hilly part, uh, while the, uh, um, the increase, uh, the growth of tropical nights is absolutely uh, great in the two parts with a, a, a um, a higher rate in the city center. Uh, not very much happened in thermal precipitation. We get uh, uh, almost the same figure in the last uh, 150 years. Uh, so we do not have uh, as a, a, a continuous amount of cumulated annual rainfall, uh, particular changes. I would say that uh, what is uh, uh, changing is the pattern of precipitation with a more uh, autumn precipitation and lower spring and uh, early summer precipitation. This is quite uh, harsh as a figure because uh, of uh, the water aspects and also because of the um, lower humidity and the felt of uh, growth during summer in, uh, in the city. Uh, so uh, we started a, a study, an investigation some years ago about the thermal comfort of the city of Florence. Uh, just uh, um, a, using uh, uh, some uh, uh, different equipment, different uh, methodologies to check it out. And also having a look of uh, um, connecting uh, the results about thermal comfort to the uh, uh, strategy of green infrastructure that is uh, um, uh, developing the city. Um, the first part of the uh, study was made by a mobile station, uh, the one that you saw on my shoulder before, uh, it was uh, um, uh, carried out in uh, different uh, uh, settings of the city, from square to private garden, public gardens, streets for trees, uh, streets uh, without trees, uh, or narrow streets in the, in the center. 
to check uh, which are the conditions in terms of uh, takeover in one side, and so uh, using uh, uh, the Universal Thermal Climate Index as a, a biometrological parameter to assess the linkages between outdoor environment and human well-being, but also to uh, cope uh, with the uh, psychological feeling of people in terms of uh, thermal discomfort. And then also uh, using the sky factor uh, um, measurements in terms of uh, uh, looking to the uh, effective uh, radiation is coming in different uh, uh, settings of the city. Uh, some uh, interesting results are uh, coming from uh, uh, this kind of uh, study. Uh, of course, as expected, uh, the uh, uh, trees make difference, uh, and particularly the public and the private gardens are uh, evidently uh, better in terms of uh, thermal comfort. And uh, as far as uh, it uh, refers to the different uh, uh, parameters to be used, uh, uh, we should see that uh, um, average three diameter and three canopy cover represent uh, uh, the uh, better performance in terms of green sites. Uh, and uh, uh, while um, some uh, uh, factors that are linked to the built uh, area are absolutely negative in terms of uh, uh, thermal comfort. Another aspect that came out was uh, the relationship between tree cover percentage and the uh, temperatures in size. Um, well, we expect uh, generally that uh, a higher tree cover is the best performing one. While we um, check it out that uh, there are medium uh, tree cover that are performing as best in terms of uh, uh, condition temperature at the uh, ground level. Uh, very likely because of the evapotranspiration factors that are uh, happening in this, uh, uh, this context. And then we uh, um, uh, used uh, a, a, the mapping of uh, the Thailand to check uh, which uh, uh, conditions to get in the different parts of cities. And uh, this uh, picture with the uh, 25 meters of resolution uh, um, of the maximum temperatures, uh, summer temperatures, uh, while this one is a picture of the minimum temperatures in, uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, city level, landscape level. And then going down, uh, zooming uh, to the uh, different part of the cities to see which is the uh, actual contribution in terms of uh, thermal control by the uh, city itself. So to feed uh, the strategic green infrastructure plan for the city of Florence, uh, and uh, connect uh, to uh, uh, which the, the landscape ecology systems of the city in terms of uh, uh, identifying where are the best uh, uh, areas to increase or to um, evolve the uh, actual uh, presences in terms of green systems and uh, um, uh, strengthen which can be the contribute by tree uh, and vegetation to the uh, thermal balance of the city. Uh, a final um, part of the study was uh, uh, oriented to check uh, which is the, um, uh, what the what the people think about the thermal comfort and ecosystem services that are related to that. And uh, what, uh, uh, surprisingly, we get uh, a very uh, say structured uh, um, knowledge about uh, the system and uh, also a, a, a quite good response in terms of uh, uh, consciousness and uh, awareness by the, uh, the people in terms of uh, preferences and importance of the ecosystem services as related to thermal comfort. So there are many uh, results that we can uh, show about that, uh, uh, but I think that uh, the, the most promising are that, uh, of course, shade is the most important element for comfort, uh, but we need uh, more urban forest-based solutions for rural cities, as was pointed out by the, uh, the former presenters. And I think that uh, the association building and vegetation is key to reduce the thermal discomfort. So as uh, Professor Yokoari was presenting before, uh, that is a, a, a key issue in terms of uh, design in the cities, but also in growing awareness by the uh, uh, people, by the, uh, not only the, residents, but also the tourists, in terms of uh, which are the best uh, locations for that. Um, there are relationships uh, that we investigate on that, uh, um, and, uh, and are the psychological relationships again. So uh, we uh, should uh, uh, go up from the uh, comfort, the thermal comfort, uh, 
to uh, the whole comfort of nature as a, a, a key factor for uh, the best well-being of the people at city level. Uh, well, I think that's it's all. I hope that I, uh, I kept my time and thank you very much for